Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump shocks everyone with sudden reaction to getting military base named Fort Trump. Whoa, these are one of those moments where you find yourself wishing you could be a fly on the wall. That would be the wall of every leftist triggered by this conversation that took place in the White House on Tuesday. The White House was visited by the Republic of Poland's president, Andrzej Duda, and he came with a declaration. He wants to build Fort Trump in Poland. The president of Poland is not happy with Russia. He spoke about his concerns with increased Russian military exercises on top of an even greater increase of Russian military attacks in the region. Andrzej Duda also came with what he believes will be the remedy for these concerns, imploring President Trump to bring his vision of Fort Trump to life and build a permanent military base there in Poland. We want to buy more equipment. We also wanted to cooperate in the area of development as regards to military technology, Duda said. I'm convinced this partnership between Poland and the United States will go smoothly. I am convinced that such a decision lies both in the Polish interest as well as in the interest of the United States. Poland is an attractive country and, first and foremost, it's got a very strategic location in Europe, Duda said. And I'm convinced that for the interest of the United States, also pertaining to the security of the United States itself, the presence of the U.S. forces in our country is important, also to protect American interests. President Trump has revealed that the U.S. is really considering a permanent military base in Poland. For more than a decade Poland has sought for this to happen, and after Tuesday they are feeling very hopeful that it will. Trump also mentioned that he knew Poland was willing and able to make a large contribution to the United States coming in as a military presence in Poland, which is a major plus when deciding to consider the idea. He was particularly intrigued to hear their contribution would be up to $2 billion or more. Poland would be paying billions of dollars for a base, Trump said. The, Polish, president offered us much more than $2 billion, so we're looking at it. Poland has been a big part of the growing U.S. presence in Eastern Europe especially since Russia's invasion of Crimea back in 2014. The bolstered growth of U.S. military there includes repeat deployments of airborne brigade combat teams in an effort to show the rapid mobilization that could be provided by U.S. and NATO forces if Russia ever decided to attempt invasion again. This could be just one of the reasons Poland's president was more than happy to hear that Fort Trump is a possibility. I was smiling when talking to Mr. President, I said that I would very much like to ask to set up a permanent American base in Poland which we would call Fort Trump, Duda said in a joint press conference following their meeting. I firmly believe this is possible. I am convinced that such a decision lies in the Polish interest and in the interest of the United States. For now U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis has revealed that the Pentagon is currently working hand-in-hand -hand with Poland leadership to look at potential options, however, no decisions have been made as of yet. The questions are many in there, Mattis said. You know it's not just about a base, it's about training ranges, it's about maintenance facilities, all these kinds of things and a host of details you've got to study alongside. So no decision has been made. We're studying it and we're working together on that. The president of Poland seems to be convinced that Fort Trump will be a very effective deterrent against any future Russian aggression that may present itself. The presence of the U.S. armed forces in this area is absolutely justified, Duda said. I am convinced there is no more effective method of preventing a war than a decisive stance illustrating that we are ready at any moment to repel, a, possible attack. There are some other thoughts to consider when it comes to Fort Trump. During the conference at the White House it was not discussed what types of troops and assets would be deployed to reside at Fort Trump and although Poland is a huge advocate for the permanent U.S. base on its territory, Russia has been warning of an aggressive response to such a presence. Former Army Lt. Gen. Ben Hodges advocated the boosting of U.S. military presence during his time of service as commander of U.S. Army Europe, but even he requested caution be made when considering a permanent U.S. base in Poland. He warned that there was a downside. It would give Moscow an easy opportunity to claim that NATO is an aggressor and to somehow respond to protect Russian sovereignty, Hodges told Politico in June. What do you think about the idea of Fort Trump? Is a permanent U.S. military presence in Poland going to be a tool for strengthening our ally or an invitation for Russian aggression? Please let us know your thoughts. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.